Hello everybody and welcome to the Mining of Isaac episode 10. Today we are going to play as Isaac. It should be awesome. Uh, first off I just want to say that I'm sorry this episode is a little bit later than usual. Uh, I don't really have too much of a backlog going on right now. But I would like to build one up. So, Again, I'm trying to stick to the episode of day plan but the exact times and such may not always line up in the uh, in the perfect prime time range I suppose this is being recorded August 6th though so but it may not actually go up until August 7th for some of you I apologize about that I and mean, I suppose that would be true anyways if uh, there's some international viewers out there at some point anyways infestation here uh, gives us three blue attack flies. When we get hit, blue attack flies do twice our base damage. I'm gonna reroll it. And I'm gonna get the Celtic Cross. Gives me a 35% chance to gain seven seconds of invulnerability when taking damage. It's pretty good. It's honestly a pretty good passive. Uh, you know, you can abuse it against Devil Beggars and uh, Blood Donation Machines. And, you know, it's just got some fairly obvious defensive implications. If you get hit, there's a chance you won't be able to get hit again for quite a good period of time. Seven seconds doesn't sound like a lot, but it's actually pretty significant. You can get a lot done in seven seconds. You might be surprised. So, pin here. Normal version. Should be easy enough. Be surprised if we take any damage. And then, of course, I'll get hit, but I didn't. So, going pretty well. Uh, you know, still need basically anything. And we're not going to get any more rerolls, so I pretty much will take what he drops. Unless it is actively going to hurt me. Shot speed up, for example, I probably wouldn't take. But uh, just about anything else I would probably take, so. Oh, no. Oh. There's the Celtic Cross effect. Um, okay, Magic Gate Ball is a strange item. Use a 16% shot speed up, I believe, and tarot card. It's debatable if the uh, the shot speed up is worth a single tarot card. In this case, I'm obviously going to say no. And Celtic Cross again, getting fairly lucky with that. Okay, I need to not get cornered here, because that's pretty silly. Unfortunately, a lot of these guys are splitting into the secondary form, which is somewhat uncommon. If they have if they're smiling like that, it's pretty strange. They have a reasonably low chance, I believe, to do that. One thing I do want to point out is I probably should have gone to the secret room. Because we have a good amount of bombs and we do have a key, so... No resource problems right now. Definitely should have gone to the secret room on the last floor, though. Really no reason I shouldn't have. I would have been able to find it with three bombs, I'm fairly certain. There probably weren't even three locations it could have been. Or, I mean, there may have been at most three locations it could have been, so. Um, yeah, bit of a waste, but. Hopefully, we find that item room pretty quickly here. So, unfortunately, we've had to waste a, uh, a few re uh, a few charges on our D6 here. And I am going to shoot all that poop, I think. Just not going to do it right now. Working this room down. No problem. I was hoping that would time up a little bit better. Alright, just gonna shoot this guy. Hope for the best. Anything he drops me right now will be somewhat useful. Yeah, heart. I'll take it. Nothing else I can use to get back to full health. Alright. Okay. So unfortunately, it looks like we are going to find the item room. Yeah, right here. So we're not gonna get the chance to reroll this at all. This floor was laid out in kind of a strange way, I would say. Charm the Vampire. I don't want to reroll it just yet. Uh, I want to go in here first. Open this. Control bombs. I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be an item that I could reroll. Which it wasn't. So, I'm going to reroll Charm of the Vampire. And I'm going to get Sister Maggie. Which I believe is just a standard shooty familiar. Same vein as Brother Bobby. She may do a little bit more damage, I don't know. Uh, secret room should be right here. 
So we're gonna go into that. And it is. Six cents worth of bomb. But not enough to justify going to the shop. So we are not gonna go to the shop, we're gonna go fight the boss. Monstro. A champion version of Monstro even, but I'm not entirely sure what he does differently. Seems to just be shooting. Oh, he probably doesn't do the uh, large hop. The uh, the leap, if you will. Getting a little bit nervous standing right there. So, Sister Maggie is kind of effectively a damage up. But, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I can't really complain. Not the uh, not the worst thing we could have gotten, and I would definitely say it's probably better than Charm of the Vampire. Uh, a familiar that shoots is probably better than a single damage up at a low level, or at a at an early point in the game like this. Not a low level. This is Dungeons and Dragons. All right, let's uh, shoot all through all this poop and get out of here, I guess. Um, did get a health up. I gotta say, I don't know about this run yet. Haven't really picked up anything noteworthy. I mean, we got two okay items and a health up, so that's cool. So we did spawn right next to an item room. So I think we probably should reroll that. Ghost Baby, another shooting familiar in the same vein as Sister Maggie here, but shoots Spectral Tears. Uh, I, I think we should reroll it though because. We are spawning right next to it, so we can theoretically get a bunch of rerolls going on. But we are in a cursed labyrinth, so there are going to be two item rooms. So it's a bit of a risky proposition. Again, getting very lucky with the amount of uh, the amount. Oh, jeez, the amount of Celtic cross procs I'm getting. It's, again, only 35% chance, but I've seen it several times already. So that's reasonably lucky. I'm taking a kind of silly amount of damage here against what should be some fairly easy enemies. So if I'm gonna reroll it at all, I should reroll it now. So that is what I'm gonna do. Debatable decision. Um, I rerolled Ghost Baby, so I'm not gonna take Able because that would just seem silly. Able, another, you know, shooty type familiar. But uh, he functions very strangely, and in a way I don't care for. <laughs> so we're just not going to take it. Found the second item room. Which is nice. Decent timing. Yep, troll bomb, scary. Yum heart. Kind of useful. We'll get us back to full health, nothing else. Probably going to reroll that. And I mean, I guess I'll reroll Yumheart before I reroll the uh, Able. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'll even bother to take Able though, because I don't think he's very good. So it's, it's a tough decision. I, I'm probably not going to take either item in the item range right now. So. I mean, I guess I might as well pick up Able, but it does occasionally confuse me. It's a bit of a confusing familiar. But it looks like we're going to get a lot of chances to reroll here, so. Bean. Just this. It's got a one room recharge time, so. It's not the worst item out there. But, not better than the D6. Trade a bomb for key. I don't see any need to do that right now. It's probably worth it. Oh, got that option twice. Alright, this room scares me a little. Yep. This room would actually be pretty good to get a D or a Celtic cross proc in. So, open this. Mom's Pearl. Basically doubles our chance of finding Soul Hearts that are Red Hearts, so that's pretty nice. Getting a lot of empty rooms here that I can't really utilize in a significant way. Which kind of sucks because uh, wasted potential for D6. But that's sometimes how it goes. And yeah, hopefully we get something down here. Okay. So we are gonna get another reroll. And I am gonna reroll the bean. Because, you know. Space Pride. And not 
particularly exceptional one. If I'm not gonna take Yum Heart, I'm probably not gonna take the Beat. So again, taking a lot of the damage. Not super productive damage. Could definitely use some survivability. Could definitely use some damage. Uh, could use some consumables. We are uh, looking to get anything. But apparently, this item room is just gonna give us space for items. Deck of cards gives you a tarot card, or just a card, I guess. Every uh, every six rooms, I believe. We very luckily got the sun card here, which is a full heal, uh, reveals the entire map and does a uh, sizable amount of damage. I think it's about the same as the death card or the Necronomicon if you prefer. Okay, just gotta take it slow here without actually going slow, which is tricky. Okay. Sorry about the lack of commentary there. It was a little bit nerve-wracking. So, D6 is not doing us any favors yet. That could all change, of course. As, uh, uh if you've seen the last video, it's definitely, definitely possible for D6 to totally change, or the video before that, I even. Very, very possible for the D6 to completely change how a run is going to go. Uh, but, has not happened in this run just yet. I mean, Sister Maggie, Celtic Cross, not bad pickups, but not game defining pickups either. They're good enough to probably pull me through this part of the game, but not too much later, I would say. We're definitely going to need more stuff. Just we, we basically need everything. So, if the game wants to give me anything, I will take it. Um. So that's, we're gonna go reroll the deck playing cards here. Deck tarot cards, whatever it's called. In the hopes of getting a decent passive, honestly. Well, little Chad. You know, I want to take little Chad more than I want to take Abel, so that's that's what I'm gonna do. Little Chad will give me half a heart every couple of rooms, not sure on the exact numbers. But it is some sustainability. Don't usually like little Chad too much, but, you know. I need something. I need something. And, uh. Well, Little Chad is definitely something. And, yeah, and I mean, we really can't have that many rerolls left. And, like I said, I want to take Little Chad more than I want to take Abel, so. I mean, you know, kind of ideally, I guess I wouldn't necessarily take either, but, you know. Alright, this room is going okay. Yeah, we survived. Okay, we found the boss room. Uh, if we can make it through this room without taking damage, that'll be interesting. Kind of a miracle. Because we have not great damage right now. Sister Maggie, pretty much all of our serious damage output right now. And that is not saying a whole lot. Pretty sure she may be hitting harder than we are, but again, not by so much that it's really changing the game. Again, though, not really complaining. Sister Maggie, certainly not the worst pickup. Um, you know, one thing I can say right now is we have gotten a number of space bar items cycled out of the pool, so hopefully we can start to see some more passives pop up. This may be the last chance I get to reroll on this floor, so, and there's, there's no weird way for me to figure that out, so I'm just going to do it and hope for the best, blood rights. Unfortunately, another space bar item. Again though, I'm pretty sure Abel, not really worth pickup. Can't really even justify him in the same way I can justify Sister Maggie, so I'm going to open this red chest because anything would be nice. Well. That is very fleeting advantage, but it is an advantage, I suppose. Help me get through this room a little bit faster. Better than troll bombs, I guess. So, we should probably look for that secret room. Uh, because it would likely allow us to go to the shop. 
unless greed is in the shop, which there is a 50% chance of, I believe. Again, not 100% sure of how that works out on an XL floor, but I, I think it's, I think it's going to be the case that it's about a 50% chance. So, and it looks like I will get to re-roll the uh, blood rites, which is good. Blood rites, by the way, uh, takes a heart and does. A uh, okay amount of damage. Okay amount of damage. Yeah. yeah. I think it's like on par with the death card. Maybe a little bit lower than that. I'm not I'm really not sure. Those type of self-sacrifice items usually don't appeal to me in a huge way because, well, I consider them to be a little bit dangerous. What can I say? Sorry if there's any noise right now. I'm trying to move my microphone cord into a more comfortable position. And I have failed to do that, but let's re-roll this. Hourglass, okay, just gonna give me an, just tons and tons of space for items. Which, uh, you know. In some cases, that's not so bad. But in this case, it makes me kind of worried. Because, you know, we don't, like... We, we have nothing really to speak of here. We don't have a ton of bombs, we don't have a ton of keys, we don't have a lot of money. Don't have a lot of health, don't have a lot of damage. Don't have a lot of tears. <laughs> you know, we just we need we need more. <laughs> we need more than than like bad or even average space bar items. Really need passives. Um, you know, sometimes this happens though. It's just it's just sometimes how it goes in Isaac. And unfortunately we didn't find the secret room. I, I just checked some spots that I'm pretty sure were possible, and it didn't work out. There were uh, a lot of potential spots, though, as far as I can tell. This fight is going to take quite a while, unfortunately. I'm going to try and save this sun card as long as I can, but, you know, you never know when we're going to need it. Okay. I really don't want to have these in on this fight, but if I get down to half a heart, I'm basically not going to have a choice, or I could die. I mean, there's no point in saving a life-saving consumable when I could die anyways, so... Thankfully, this is a uh, normal Gertie, who probably a little bit easier than summon spammer Gertie right now, for me anyways. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're doing okay here, taking a little bit more damage than I would have liked, but... Okay, we are possibly going to have to use the Sun Guard. I would rather save it to the next fight. We will probably need to use it. Okay, and it looks like we are going to make it to the next fight. Meat gives you 0.3 damage up, and uh, well, it's a pretty, pretty good item. Let's go do the next boss. Pestilence, alright, going to give us a cube of meat. Probably going to end up having to use the uh, Sun Guard here, especially since Pestilence is spamming like a bitch. Okay, yeah, I have to use it now, or he could kill me, so. He could still kill me if I do stupid shit like that over and over again. Do I sound a little bit concerned? Because, you know, I am I am a, a little bit concerned. Q and me here, blocks incoming shots, and does contact damage. So unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to get to earn a reroll. Or a trip to the seat around, or a trip to the shop, so on we go. Into Necropolis, Curse of Darkness. Uh, two things I didn't want to see. And this room just kind of pulls the whole package together, I suppose. Yeah, so we are... I mean, we're going to take a lot of damage here. It's going to take us quite a while to kill these hearts. Very unfortunately. Ow. Well... Didn't actually take damage. I think Q meat saved me there. Okay. It's, it's hard to stay focused on this matrix you have to run for this long because you're just doing base damage, basically. You have to basically be in the perfect position in these rooms or are you going to take damage. Alright, enough money to go to the shop. If uh, greed isn't in it, which is possible, you know, well, that was silly damage to take on my part. 
This room should be doable. It just depends on what the random um, set, uh, walking guts do. Gurgles have fairly predictable shots, but the walking guts, you, know, you never know what they're going to do. Okay. Again. I guess I shouldn't say base damage because meat is a damage up after all, but it's not a huge one. Like I said, 0 0.3. So it's definitely better than a raw health upgrade, but it's also not necessarily game changing. Which is sort of what I need right now. We are, because we're pretty much draining health much faster than little chat here didn't give it to us. Partially that's my fault, but. At the same time, I feel like the RNG has been less than supportive this run. The thing is, there's like very little, or in fact, nothing noteworthy about my run right now. Like, I don't like have anything. I'm not complaining, but these are uh, some sullen circumstances. But, I mean, that's just part of the reason I like this game so much, the, uh, the randomness. I mean, sometimes you'll get runs like these, but sometimes you'll get some great runs as well. And sometimes you'll get some runs that offer a nice mix. Could very easily die in this room. I'm not really getting to do any damage. He's getting to do a lot of damage. And, uh, this could be the end of our video here, unfortunately. Shoot. Well, that was a shame. Um, well, sorry about that, you guys. But, uh, Super Wrath, kind of hard in that situation. Doable, but apparently not by me. Uh, so I'll see you next time. And thank you for watching. Peace.